Live from Norwich, Connecticut, it's the final day of the NEC baseball season. The winner goes to the NCAA tournament. The Bryant University Bulldogs take on the Sacred Heart Pioneers. D2-1, hit well into left center field. That's a base hit. Shaw scores. Sacred Heart strikes first. It is a two-out RBI single by Keaton Flint. This one is hit and it goes through into left field. Medina rounds third, he comes home. Another two out base hit. It's Zach Short coming around third headed home. He scores, it's now two nothing Sacred Heart. One one in the dirt, that gets away. Runner trying to come home, throw home, not in time. They're gonna say that Buck McCarthy just snuck in home before the tag, and that makes it two to one. It's barely slide underneath and beat the tag. This is going opposite way, down the line, fair into the right field corner. It'll plate the tying run. And the Bryant Bulldogs with two outs have drawn even at two runs apiece. He's fielded, but he can also hit. Hit right to Short, who can't play it. It gets by him. It'll plate the go-ahead run. Two runs in on the play, and it's four to two Bulldogs here in the bottom of the fourth. No balls, two strikes on Rin. And this is going opposite way into left. A diving effort, and the catch is made. A snow cone catch for Flint out and left prevents further damage from being done. The 0-1 home, this is hit opposite way, down the line, fair into the right field corner. Medina racing around second, second short is headed to second. Medina stopped at third, but he's gonna get the go sign and he's gonna slide in safe at home. It's an RBI double for Zach Short and it's a one run ball game, four to three. And the 0-2 is looped out into right field, base hit. We're tied at four. Jesus Medina comes through with an opposite field single for the Pioneers. The single likely scores him. And there it is, into center field. Base hit for Sorrento. Medina being waved in, the throw, not in time. Sacred Heart takes the lead, five to four. Sacred Heart leading at 5-4. And Wirtz deals. Chopper to Zach Short. Here's the throw, down on the bag, and it is over! No heartbreak this year for the Pioneers. Sacred Heart, the NEC baseball champions here in 2015, their fourth title of all time, and they are going to the NCAA tournament. Final score, Sacred Heart five and Bryant four. Time now to chat with the champs for the third time in five years. The Sacred Heart Pioneers are going to the NCAA tournament. Let's turn and talk with the birthday boy first. Victor, you had the big hit at the end to put your team ahead. So take us through that at bat. I mean, when we were, when I was getting up there, G was just telling me just stay focused, keep your eye on the ball, swing it hard like you've been doing all year. And I just got up there, and Shorty was just like sit fastball and rip it, and I just took it in that it, right over there. It was just unbelievable. It was unbelievable. This was a game that was close throughout. I'm sure as the game wore on and it became close, tensions, emotions started to rise on both sides. So how did you manage to keep it all together in that situation? Honestly, I mean, you could talk to my roommate, uh, Sully. He, I was with him last night. And I was like, dude, I can't lose to them three years in a row. I, I can't. I seriously can't. I was throwing pillows around. I was just, I was just a mess. But I just like, just stay focused every single day and take one inning at a time. Now, yesterday, you had a chance to have all this happen yesterday, but a little bit of a setback. Um, but So how resilient was it to have to you know, sleep on that and then come back today all over again and come through in the end? I mean, I just told the team yesterday in the huddle, I was like, it's one game. It's one game. We should just be just as excited as they are. They're a very good team. We're a very good team. It's going to come down to the wire. And we just came through. And I give them credit. They try to bring in Wilcox after two days rest. And I give them credit. It's just unbelievable. Not a bad way to spend a birthday, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> Finally, I get to spend one happy. You're going to the NCAA tournament. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you. Why don't we have you guys switch? We'll bring in Dan here. Uh, so 
four innings was your high this season in the game against Bryant. Over five innings today, no hits, no runs. So take us through that. You know, how was your approach coming in, and what did you notice as it was going on? Uh, just pitch by pitch. It was really just batter by batter, pitch by pitch. Uh, it's kind of just a process, and Coach Gia just every inning, you know, kept telling me, hey, just get think about the next pitch, think about the next batter, and that's all I was working. I, I didn't realize till now how many innings it was, but uh, it was a great time, great time. Uh, I'm sure it was so, something to remember. Now, the question is, are you tired at all? I'm ready to go for the regional. <laughs> I don't know about you guys. No, no, yeah, I'm, I'm feeling it a little bit, you know, but uh, I'm really, uh, I got to thank Coach Chief for putting me back out there after yesterday, and you know, it was a special moment. What was it like being a spectator, down a run, your team going to the ninth inning batting, watching that rally starting with Sullivan's triple? Um, how, how is that having to be a spectator? I got to be honest, I was thinking we were going to tie it up the whole time, and even better, we went one ahead, and it was just amazing. It was amazing. Congratulations on the NCAA tournament. Thank you very much. Let's turn and talk with Coach. Coach, here we are again. Every, every game here in this tournament, you scored runs in the ninth inning. Yes, so two of them to come back and win it. So yeah. you know, what is it about the resiliency of this team to, to never give up and keep fighting to that last inning? I'll tell you, we've, we've grown so much this year, and, and uh, we always talk about how good teams score late. And these guys really took a giant step forward uh, these last few weeks to become a championship team. Any, you know, give one for the Gipper speeches that you had to give out there? No, nah, nothing like that, man. It was just stay locked in, just rely on what we've been doing all year, and stay focused. And, you know, we knew it's going to be an emotional roller coaster, and we just tried to maintain our equilibrium, and the guys did a great job. It looked like one of the big spots, there were a lot of them, but late in the game in the eighth inning, they were looking for an insurance run to maybe go up 5-3. They brought in Mountford as a pinch hitter. You guys decided to intentionally walk him, and you were able to get out of that with no damage done. So yeah. how huge was that situation to get out of it? Well, it, you never know. <laughs> but it was it, it was pretty big, and we got out of it, though. But, you know, he's a tremendous player. So I figure, um, you know, instead of worrying about two runs, let's just worry about the one run and, uh, you know, go from there. Third title in five years now, fourth overall for the Sacred Heart program. So what does this mean to bring another trophy back to Fairfield? Uh, we're, we're so excited. You can see these guys. I mean, you know, in the last two years, we were the guys with the sad faces, you know. And uh, just to beat a team like Bryant, they're a championship team. They're one of the top teams in the region year in and year out. They're well coached. The guys play, they play nine innings. They've had so many comeback wins. Just for us to close it like that is it's a testament to our guys. Congratulations. You know you got a trophy to go get, so we'll let you All get right. to work. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. The Sacred Heart Pioneers are going back to the NCAA tournament here in 2015.